In this video, I'm going to be sketching y equals x squared plus x take away 20 over x take away 3. So can we factorise the numerator first? So that would be x plus 5, x take away 4, and that's over x take away 3. OK. So vertical asymptotes first. So that will be when the denominator is 0, so that would be at x equals 3. Then, where is the numerator 0? Because that's going to be where it crosses the x-axis. So that will be at minus 5 and plus 4. So we've got 4 and minus 5. OK, um, how about where it crosses the uh, y-axis? That's when x is 0. And so we'll have minus 20 over minus 3, so 20 thirds. So 20 thirds. 6 point something, so 20 thirds over here. OK, something like that. I think I'll probably need to bring my minus 5 a little bit further along. Let's pop them there. OK, right, as for the oblique asymptote, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So x take away 3, and we want x squared, so that would have to be x, x into minus 3x. Uh, now, we want x, we've got minus 3x, we're going to have to add on 4x. x is in the 4x go 4, so we're going to get minus 12. We don't want minus 12, we want minus 20, so we're going to have to take away 8. That's my remainder. So this is equal to x plus 4 take away 8 over x take away 3. So y equals x plus 4 is my oblique asymptote. OK, something like this. OK, so we also want to check whether the curve crosses the asymptote. Uh, the oblique asymptote, so x squared plus x take away 20 over x take away 3, and we're going to put that equal to x plus 4. So multiplying up by the x take away 3, we have on the right-hand side, we're going to have x squared minus 3x plus 4x, so plus x take away 12. So you can see the x squareds and the x's cancel, and that would mean that minus 20 is equal to minus 12, which is obviously nonsense. OK, so the curve does not cross the uh, asymptote. And so it must be coming down here through those two points and then tending towards the asymptote. Difficult to kind of get the shape on it there. Um, and then... As for here, curve must be doing something like that, okay? And so this is the shape of the curve. 